Yeah, so welcome, uh, Pratyush. How do you feel after you have got into ISI? Are you excited? It's a wonderful feeling. I always wanted to get into ISI, like uh, especially for its varieties of job profiles that it offers. And also I've heard the PhD prospects are really good. So it, okay. it's really nice. Amazing, amazing. So, uh, you know, Pratyush, uh, can you give me a background about uh, yourself? Uh, which uh, course uh, did you do in terms of, uh, you know, college and, uh, you know, when did you join EduShort? Can you just uh, give me a background about all that? So I have completed BSc in economics from Presidency University, Kolkata. And okay. uh, I joined uh, EduShort in uh, two years back. Uh, so I have completed the Eco Masters and the Eco Topper course. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So Pratyush, what uh, were the, uh, you know, challenges? How did you uh, feel that, uh, you know, the journey, uh, you know, progressed uh, forward? Can you give me an idea that, uh, you know, what worked for you? Any um, advice uh, to the, uh, you know, MS uh, QE aspirants for uh, 2023? So when I first joined the course, I, I wasn't able to solve a, only only a few questions. I was able to solve only a few questions, particularly the maths and statistics portions were difficult. So uh, I used to like go th through the videos that were posted in uh, our portal that I used to visit them regularly and the assignments that uh, were given to us. So I used to do that and solve the past papers regularly. So I think that helped. And uh, for economics part, um, I used to brush up the basic topics like consumer behavior, mar market, uh, markets, different types of markets, and I regularly give the different topic tests and well as well as the mock subject and the ISI mock tests, so hmm. which helped me. And the doubt sessions were also helpful, like I could clear my doubts there. Okay, okay, fair enough. See, uh, something that uh, you know, many uh, students actually ask that. Um, uh, the college uh, syllabus for, uh, you know, economics, uh, where you do so many uh, proofs, are they actually uh, relevant for these entrance examinations? Uh, that is what they ask. When the proofs is, uh, it's not quite relevant, but the theories should be well known. Like, it's not necessary, like, if I know how to derive a, a normal distribution or, like, uh, solve a long economics distribution, uh, uh, formula or a derivation but it's like knowing the theory is uh, quite important they will ask only the theory but uh, the proofs are not very much required correct correct see uh, something that uh, you know i uh, you personally believe i want to know your uh, you know opinion i uh, you know personally feel uh, that the college syllabus is uh, very different to what is yes. the skill uh, that you need in order to uh, you know crack these entrance examinations because uh, you know these are uh, very practical oriented uh, you know examinations right so uh, when i think about uh, say uh, you know maximizing a utility function uh, subject to a budget constraint most of the students instantly think acha lagrange uh, you know we have to put but uh, what i see in isi dsc if you put a lagrange 90% uh, of the problems will not be done because uh, you know you have a corner a solution or you have a concave you know okay. preferences or you have a satiation point something or the other is there so i personally think that uh, you know if your you know college examination is a cricket uh, you know cracking into an isi is a football right they are uh, you know completely different what do so you I feel i think that uh, in college examinations we learn our varieties of topics and uh, they are theory based, but in these entrances, they are more of an application based. We need to know that exactly how can we apply this in real world or how can we apply this in certain problems. So in and at the same time, they are focused on certain basic topics. And in college, we learn a lot of extra topics. We go into depth of theories, but such things are not required in entrance examinations. We need to know the exact applications and different right. tricks to solve the problems. Right, right. See, uh, you know, there is again a question uh, by the students, which is a very, uh, you know, cliched question. What is the secret of your uh, success, right? So what is your uh, secret of uh, success, Pratyush? So Just what worked for you? 
so sometimes i used to feel very happy when i could solve the problems and sometimes i used to feel very low but i think the entire the, the main thing is we should be able to believe in ourselves that we can do it like whenever we feel demotivated we should be able to feel that uh, like we have to think of the positive times that when we could solve the papers and we should think if we could solve the paper then we will be able to do it in our exam time also and the most important thing is in when actually we are writing the exam we shouldn't get confused we should if we get confused in at any instant we should like stop and think uh, for a little bit and then proceed to do it so keeping the calm is very necessary put a very uh, you know strong uh, point across that Uh, you know many students actually tell me that sir uh, you know who are you know able to get into an isi or a dsc they must be absolutely geniuses and they are you know able to do each and every problem and uh, you know we are not able to do you know each and every problem uh, so you said that uh, you know you were also not able to do many problems right yes, yes. and uh, you know you had to keep uh, yourself motivated Yes. right can you give an example how you kept yourself motivated because uh, you know demotivation is a very common uh, thing in the students once a student is uh, you know demotivated then they fall out of the race that is what i personally have seen demotivated uh, you know students there are uh, so many students very good you know students they uh, did not even appear for isi dsc questions thinking ki are fayda hai kya hai hum log se to ho nahi raha hai motivation was absolutely low down right so can you give an advice how you kept yourself motivated when uh, you were not able to do a few problems mm, sir personally uh, if i speak in general terms then when i used to get demotivated like before uh, isi or before jam so i used to think of my past successes maybe in uh, school exams or in college exams or some other that i have achieved and particularly before isi i used to think that if i uh, i could crack jam i uh, cracked iit jam also so i used to think if i could crack jam and secure a place in iit delhi then why not i'll be able to do the same in isi so when very i used good. to think that then uh, i could gain back my motivation again okay well, that is the good that's a good the point see honestly when i went into isi and uh, you know i got into a dsc i had no successes <laughs> to right to be honest in my uh, 12th i wasn't even in the first you know 15 in my school i was uh, never a topper in my uh, college i was uh, not even in the first you know 20s in my uh, college in the first year and the second year so what actually motivated me was a dream and a little bit of an anger inside that am i so ordinary that i will uh, not be able to do anything with my life right i you know basically wanted to prove it to myself that i am a somebody i am not a nobody right so that uh, you know basically motivated me so then in that case uh, there is no option you yes. don't actually uh, think of a failure right failure is not an option literally not an option because i need to prove to myself that i am a somebody in life and i will be able to do something with it right yes. so that i personally feel is very very important for uh, you know these entrance examinations if you have had uh, you know successes in the past make sure to uh, you know relish that success one uh, success uh, you know that i had in the past was uh, you know making it to uh, you know st xavier's calcutta economics honors and that's it right that was all that i had right if uh, you know anyone can you know call it a success because uh, you know today 98% is Uh, the minimum you know, that you need in order to get into a uh, sinsavius or uh, you know a presidency for that matter because of uh, you know the entrance examinations right uh, you need to be a topper kind of a material in order to make it to these places i was uh, you know lucky enough uh, not to be a topper and yet uh, you know made it to these places at that time when i did anyway um, okay so can you share a few things that uh, you know what you Uh, did at a regular basis that uh, you know helped you out sir i used to solve the past year papers very rigorously like every day i used to solve at least a few at, at uh, not if not pv then at least pea of one particular year that i used to solve and uh, every I day to, every uh, day one pea 
so not, okay, not uh, in not all the questions like in two three days i used to solve uh, like pa okay, part of one particular year and okay. then i used to like uh, see the theory videos to clear my concepts and uh, i theory videos I, of the portal of the, of the portal that, that, okay. yes of the portal and after i completed a topic like we we had different assignments allotted to us so i used to do that sometimes and uh, for uh, i used to join the doubt sessions later uh, later half in the of the class uh, of the course and uh, i sometimes i brushed up the college notes also but those were not quite helpful the theory videos that were given in the portal those were more helpful to me i those the problems which i couldn't solve i used to uh, see them from the see the solutions from the portal so that helped me okay right so you know is there any pattern if a student you know asks you that i have exactly uh, two years right to prepare so uh, you know can you give them any advice uh, what to do in the two years in order to uh, make isi or a dsc happen for them sir i would first uh, tell them to focus on the basics of micro and macro like consumer behavior market structure skm islm ads <clears throat> and uh, basic maths like and statistics like probability and probability distribution and then i would say tell them to rigorously solve the past year papers because that is a trend which isi follows if one solves the past 10 or 15 years paper then uh, that person will be easily able to see uh, understand the trend of problems which isi follows so i would ask them also to the do interview they ask you you know pb questions so pb is uh, you know important uh, for the interview as well many students yes. you know ask me that uh, you know what uh, do they ask in the interview sir so they ask uh, you know many questions uh, from the pb part itself so that is also a plus point yes sir and uh, from in my interview they asked a basic question from consumer behavior which was already done in class so i think that focus the food on the stamps problem the yes, food sir. stamps problem okay yes the food stamps problem so mm -hmm. i think that uh, one should be able to uh, play clear the uh, basic economics as well so that's very important particularly for the pb section okay and if you have exactly one year to prepare for these entrance examinations then how should you do like uh, you know in the first uh, four months what uh, should you focus on uh, next uh, four months and uh, the next can you uh, you know break it up into three parts maybe that first part i need to do this uh, second part i need to do this and the third part i need to do this so in the first part what i feel is uh, one should be uh, uh, studying the uh, in basic economics and basic maths in a comprehensive way like not going too much into derivations but focusing more on the results and application based problems thereafter one can go and try solving the isi papers and uh, like continue doing that for some months and then the basic the, then one should go for the revision part that is very important like one should be able to memorize a lot of things like in maths different kinds of formula uh, economics problems certain certain tricks one should be re revising these things so that one can have help get the grasp of every basic concept sure so you are uh, basically saying that in the first part uh, you know, concentrate on the basics uh, do uh, the classes in uh, you classes know proper looking at portal do, videos uh, you know the basics and uh, you know do the homework do not uh, focus on uh, the time uh, management early on yes right? sir most of the students actually worry about that only that sir i am being able to do a problem but in 10 minutes shouldn't i you know try to do it faster and my answer is abhi concept ko acche se dekh lijiye yes. uh, speed ko baad mein work on karenge right i think that once the concepts are clear then the problem solving will come uh, automatically it will be faster automatically right faster automatically yes sir so in the first part only the concepts and yes. uh, the uh, you know homework in the second part uh, you should uh, you know basically yes. concentrate on uh, doing uh, you know the topics being uh, done and uh, revising all the previous topics as well. So eight yes, months. I think that to... uh, one should be uh, focusing on uh, giving mock tests also. More giving mock tests right. and maybe the beneficial way to clear topic the topic wise mock tests. Mock topic wise mock tests. Yes, exactly, exactly. And in the last four months, only the papers. Only right? the papers. Only yes. the papers. At least three to four times. Three that is what times. a student uh, should be doing. 
and uh, if do you there is still any doubt that can be cleared uh, if there is still any doubt that is left after solving the paper then one can like go back and study it but in the last three or four months only paper solving should be given only paper solving should be the thing uh, do you think that uh, you require anything other than the past papers in order to prepare for these entrance examinations do you get these you know questions in any book if you recommend no, any book I, uh, the uh, what i did was i gave the mock tests the topic wise mock tests that were given in the portal uh, i also gave that isi different isa mock tests and uh, i just for solve the past papers and the theories the theory notes and videos those were available in portal and i attended the doubt session so those were enough like college notes and college books uh, they were, there were a lot of things given but i needed something that was given in brief and to the point kind of notes so for me the portal notes were sufficient they were more than enough okay yes. okay so that was you know also a question that sir uh, you know apart from the material of edusure uh, what else uh, should we take a look at so uh, you know 95% uh, of you are actually uh, telling me that uh, you know that is uh, sufficient only the notes and uh, the videos on the portal is uh, you know good enough yes. nothing else is required other than that okay fair enough yes, sir. uh Okay, Pratish. So, in order to sum up in one line for your, you know, juniors, can you give a message that okay, do this and ISI will be yours? Yes, sir. Can you give a message? Any uh, one sir, I would, line or I would, one sentence? Uh, like to say that, build, uh, try to believe in yourself. Like one should be able to believe in himself or herself so that. Uh, he or she gets the confidence. Like believing in oneself is very important and rigorous very, very practice. Important. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pratyush, for your time. And I wish you all the best at ISI. Please be in uh, touch with us. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. All the best. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, sir. Bye.